Hello, my friends, and welcome back to my channel. It is Friday, and you know what that means. Menu plan and grocery haul. I do have a little grocery haul today. It is butcher box. My butcher box came this week. I'll tell you about that in a minute. You've heard me talk about it before, but I am not sponsored by butcher box. I pay for my butcher boxes, so I just talk about it because I love it so much. But anyway, let's talk about the menu first. So, number one, I have the old menu planner. Why? <laughs> well, I had the menu written out like in chicken scratch. And last night when we went to bed, I said, oh, I need to rewrite the menu for my video tomorrow. And I had my menu binder upstairs with me, but I had no blank menu pages printed out. So I found this one in there. I'm like, we're going old school for a week. So yeah. I like the other one a lot better, and I know you guys do too, but honestly, I was too lazy to get out of bed, turn on my laptop, print it out, go down the basement to get it. <laughs> I was. Um, but anyway, so that's why the menu planner is the old one. This week is once again all about Adam week because it's the first full week he's home, and then he goes back. <laughs> so pretty much Adam set the menu. Um, Sunday, I'm not sure what's going on. My sister's coming over. We're going to work on shower decorations. And then we all talked about going to the movies together. So I'm not quite sure what we're going to do for dinner. I don't know. Um, and my sister and her husband are vegan. So it's not like I can just throw hot dogs on the grill or something. It has to be thought about. So I'm not sure what we're going to do yet. Anyway, on Saturday kind of the same thing. I have a bridal shower to go to and like that'll be one and done for me because it's the meal is like a, a big meal. Um, so that, that'll pretty much be my whole meal for the day. Um, possibly, you know, a snack at night if I need it. And the guys will just do whatever because all the guys will probably be together while we're at the shower. I'm guessing like my crew and my sister's crew will I don't know. They're on their own. They'll figure it out. <laughs> so that that's two funky days this week, but the rest of it, like I said, is all Adam. So let me turn you around. I'm going to show you what we are having for breakfast, lunch, and for dinner. And lunch is very uninspired this week. I have not been eating lunch. It's been very warm here. I've been eating really good breakfasts and I've just been having like a little light picky lunch and I've really been enjoying it. So I'm going to ride that wave this week. So let's take a look. Okay, Sunday, I'm either gonna do French toast casserole or we're gonna go out. I can pretty much 99% guarantee we're going out um, because of Adam. Now, Andrew will not be here this weekend. He's gonna be at the shore. Every year, him and his friends go down the shore for a whole weekend. One of his friend's grandparents has a shore house and they go down there. So he won't be with us. Um, so more than likely, Adam's going to want to go out to breakfast at the new breakfast place that we found that we really love. So that's pretty much what I'm banking on. Monday and Tuesday, I'm going to make like the sausage gravy breakfast bowls. And we'll have that for two days. Wednesday, I'm just going to do a yogurt and fruit parfait for breakfast. Thursday, oatmeal. Friday, a bagel and cream cheese. And Saturday, fruit and yogurt. Keeping it light because of the shower. And then on, for lunches, Sunday, we generally don't eat lunch. Monday, a picky plate. Tuesday, a picky plate. Wednesday, a veggie plate. Thursday, some caprese salad. I spelled that wrong. Friday, tuna and tomatoes. And Saturday is the shower. And the shower is at 11 in the morning. So, or 11.30. So, it'll be a lunch that I'm eating that day. For dinners... Sunday, like I said, I'm not sure what's going on. We're going to play it by ear. Monday, ribs, baked potato, and a vegetable. Tuesday, burgers with Adam's favorite spaghetti salad and tomatoes. Wednesday, we're going out. Adam requested going to a local hibachi restaurant that we really like. Um, and that sounds great to me. Thursday, he requested buffalo chicken pasta with a salad. I do not do buffalo chicken pasta. It is way too spicy for me. 
So what I'll do is I'll just cook some of the pasta separate, put a little bit of pasta sauce on there and call it good for me. Friday, homemade pizza. He doesn't know what kind he wants yet. That's still up in the air, so not a big deal. We can decide that day. And then Saturday, like I said, is the shower. So I have a feeling um, we'll just be doing like a picky plate for dinner or something because I have a feeling the guys will all be together and eat. I don't know. We're, we'll work it out. I have enough food in the house and enough knowledge of what to do that I'm not too worried about it. So that is our menu for the week. Like I said, it is super Adam heavy, all his choices, because, well, when your kid's home, that's what you do. So let me show you Butcher Box. Real quick, if you don't know what Butcher Box is, it is a meat subscription service that is delivered right to your door. All of their meat is organic. The chicken's organic, pasture raised, the beef is grass fed and grass finished. The pork is humanely raised, heritage pork, and all of the seafood is wild caught, not farmed. So it is fantastic quality of meat, fantastic. Um, very comparable to the prices right in the grocery store. If you compare apples to apples, if you compare organic um, free range pasture meat, very comparable to the grocery store and it's delivered right to your door. They have a whole bunch of different plans. I do the small box custom plan. So I pick six cuts of meat and I also choose to get it every six weeks. You can get it four weeks, six weeks, eight weeks, 10 weeks. You can customize however you want. I've never done a curated box because personally I like to pick my own cuts of meat depending on what we're in the mood for. So that is what Butcher Box is about. I will put a link down in the description box below, right at the top. Uh, use my link, you get $50 off your first box and whatever special they are running, they run all different kinds of specials, like, you know, a free year of steaks or a free year of this or extra this. They run all kinds of specials all the time. So with that link below, 50 bucks off and whatever special they're running. So if you wanna check it out, you can cancel anytime. There is zero obligation. You wanna get one box and check it out. Decide it's not for you, you can cancel, no obligation. Um, they are a fantastic company. So very, very happy with that. We've been doing it for a couple years now. Okay, on with the butcher box haul. And of course there's extras in it because they always run specials and I'm always adding to my box. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna share my butcher box haul with you now. Um, so in my small custom box for this month, I got two pounds of the ground sirloin beef. I got two things of boneless skinless chicken breast. I got a bag of salmon and two racks of pork baby back ribs. That was my standard box. And then, because of specials we've had, I get two pounds of ground beef free in every box, and I get one pack of Butcher Box bacon free in every box. They had a couple specials this month that I added to. I added on an extra package of bacon. I added on some apple gouda sausage, which is delicious. And then I added on two more chicken breasts. Um, these, like I said, the chicken breast, the bacon, and the sausage were specials this month. I forget the exact prices of them, to be honest. And then these two are our regular freebies. Now, I will say I messed up this month. This is the exact same box I got last month, and I never do that, and I never would have gotten so much chicken. But I forgot that our box was coming, and I forgot to adjust my cuts of meat. I wanted to get more beef but I totally forgot, my bad. They emailed me and I'm like, yep, yep, I'll get to it. And then I didn't get to it. So it's fine, it will get used. Just not what I intended for the month. So there is my butcher box for this six week period. So my friends, that is what we are eating this week. I am really excited. There is some good food on here, some, some good, like to me, summer comfort food, like burgers and ribs and things like that. So because we're having some higher point, higher calorie dinners, I did try to keep breakfast and lunch pretty low. 
um, so I can enjoy that dinner without a lot of guilt. And, you know, it, it, it all comes down to working it in and, and things like that. You know, I'm not going to have a 10-point breakfast knowing I'm going to have a 15-point dinner. Or I'm not going to have a 600-calorie breakfast knowing I'm going to have a 1,000-calorie dinner. You have to just work it in. You have to plan for it. If you know, I'm not saying you have to plan perfectly every day, but if you know you have something coming up, like I have the shower. So, you know, I'm just doing fruit and yogurt for breakfast because I know at the shower, I am going to have a beautiful crab cake with mashed potatoes and asparagus. I already know that because I'm in the know and I know the menu. <laughs> um, that's one of the four choices. So, you know, I, I plan for it. I plan for it. So that's what you have to do. I am not going to go having, you know, sausage gravy and biscuits on Saturday morning at nine o'clock and then having this beautiful luncheon at 1130. You plan for it. And I'm planning to have some dessert at the shower too. So, you know, not going to go overboard, but I am going to have a sweet treat. So anyway, plan guys, plan, plan. That is why I bring this to you every single Friday. I know my men, I know my grocery hauls are boring. I know they are. It's the same thing. It's ingredients. It's nothing fun. I don't do, you know, all the processed snacks for low points. And I, I don't do all that. So they're not fun grocery hauls. But I'm just trying to show you that this is really how we do it. And you can do it too. So tangent. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you know someone who could benefit by this menu plan, please, please. Feel free to share this video. I know you can hear my peep peeps in the back. People comment all the time. They thought they heard birds chirping outside their window and it's the chickens. They're going to be in here for another two or three weeks and then they're evicted. So anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah. Share, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Please subscribe and leave me a comment. I'm going to leave two old videos linked here. You can go check those out and... That is it, my friends. I will catch you all in my next video, which will more than likely be Monday, my weekend vlog. Have a great one, and I'll talk to you all soon.